Okay, everyone, welcome back to Foxtag, and today I'm gonna show you how to take out the background from a video on your iPad. This is a topic that gets discussed a lot because people are always looking for the best way to do it. So let's dive right in to see what our options are. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that if your video background is a solid color, like a green screen, then you are in luck as is, this is much simpler to do. Removing a solid color background using video editing apps like LumaFusion or even CapCut is totally possible. So these apps allow you to use chroma key effects to easily remove the green screen or any other solid color background. But what if your video doesn't have a solid color in the background? This is where things get a bit tricky. Removing a background that isn't a uniform color is much more challenging and usually requires more advanced tools. Many people revert to using computers with software like After Effects, where you can use a technique called rotoscoping. This involves manually brushing around the subject frame by frame, which is a lot of work and not really practical for more, uh, most of the iPad users. So what are the options on an iPad? Well, one surprisingly effective tool is TikTok. Yes, I know, TikTok, the app that has built in a feature that can remove the background from your videos. It's not perfect, but it's quite impressive for a mobile app. You can place your subject in front of a different backgrounds or scenes, just like you have seen it on, seen it on TikTok, and the app handles the background removal for you. It's super easy and it's worth checking out if you're looking for a quick solution. Beyond TikTok, there are a few third-party apps on the App Store that claim to remove backgrounds from videos, but keep in mind that these apps might not offer the best quality and often come with many limitations. If you decide to give them a try, definitely look for free versions to test it out first if it actually works for you. Of course, if it comes to removing backgrounds from photos, it's much simpler and there are many apps that can do it effectively. However, for videos, it's more complex due to multiple frames involved, which makes it much more challenging. So this is how you can do it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future. Peace out until then.